was a merchant who used to go through one city to the other as a tradesman and I used to pass through this valley one day I passed through the valley holding my merchandise on top of my camel when suddenly a thief stops me in the middle of the valley alone there's no one around he puts the sword to my neck and he says I am going to kill you and take your merchandise the companion said to him please take everything but spare my life and the thief said to him no I'm going to take your merchandise and I'm going to kill you when the companion found that he, the thief was insisting on killing him he said to him okay you can kill me and take my merchandise but please allow me to do one thing and then after that you can kill me he said do whatever you like but then I'm gonna wait for you and kill you he said allow me to pray to Rakam uh, the thief made a mistake by letting him pray two rakah. So he prayed the two rakah. He the third prayed the first rakah and then he prayed the second rakah. And in his sujood, because the Prophet ﷺ says, you are the closest to Allah when you are in your prostration, in your sujood. So ask Allah for the things you want in your sujood. In his sujood, he said a long dua. I'm not going to say the whole dua for you, but I'll say parts of it. It's in three sections. And he said, Allahumma inni as'aluka bi nuri wajhika alladhi mala'ta bihi arkana arshik. I ask you, O oh Allah, by the nur, by the light of your face which has filled the pillars of your throne. And then he began to ask him by all his names, by his names, by his wonderful attributes. And finally he said, O oh, the one who responds to the dua of the, in, of the one in need. Ya mujib al idha da'an. Oh, the one who responds to the one who really needs him. He says, Yeah, he says, save me from this thief. Save me from this thief. And then he said three times, Ya Mughithu Arithni. Ya Mughithu Arithni. Ya Mughithu Arithni. Oh, the one who saves, save me. Oh, the one who saves, save me. Oh, the one who saves, save me. He said he did not complete his dua. Then all of a sudden he is the galloping of a horse racing so quickly and so fast. On the top of that horse was a man, a warrior, and he had covered his face with a sword in his right arm. The thief looked at him before he could do anything. Whack! He chopped and slit his throat and the thief died. The companion looked up and he hugged him and kissed him and he said to him, Barakallahu feek. May Allah bless you. Where are you from and where did you come from? He said, I am a malak. I am an angel from the fourth sky. You asked Allah in the first part of your dua and we heard you. Then you asked with the second part of your dua and the sky shook. Then you asked in the third part of your dua and we raced to Allah. So I raced and beat the other angels to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and said, Ya Rabbi, send me to save him. And so Allah allowed him. Then the angel faded away. The dua of the person who is in need, Allah will respond.